Today we will determine the themes of short stories. Your task is to read the story and then choose the best theme or lesson of the story. Let's learn with an example. Before we begin, let's take a look at our notes. A theme is a key message or lesson communicated in a story, poem, or play. Usually works of literature don't openly state their themes. To find the theme or lesson of a story, look at the main events, the characters, and the, char the characters and the characters' goals. Use these story elements to make inferences or educated guesses. Why did the characters act the way they did? How did they grow or change? Then think about how your inferences apply to the wider world. The story might suggest an observation about people in general, or it might give a lesson you can use in your own life. These ideas are morals and morals are themes of the story. When you identify a theme or lesson, you should be able to support it with details from the story. And as a reminder, our steps to finding theme are to look at the character's beginning situation and ending situation to help us determine what that character would learn and then what we would learn. Let's take a look at our story and read it together. The Unhappy Princess. Once there was a king who had a daughter named Princess Araminta. He loved her greatly, and he wanted to make her happy more than anything in the world. He bought her a fine steed, but she didn't like to ride. He bought her beautiful and expensive clothing, clothing, but Araminta said that the gold embroidery scratched at her neck. He brought a grand palace to the mountains to be their summer home. He bought a grand palace in the mountains to be their summer home. But Araminta thought the empty stone hallways felt drafty and lonely. The king couldn't understand. He'd given his daughter everything that made him happy, a fine horse, nice clothes, and a beautiful palace. What else could you possibly want, he asked her. Araminta didn't have an answer for him, because she didn't know. One day she was wandering near a creek by herself, watching the little silver fish dart around in the water. She saw an abandoned fishing pole leaning against a tree. Impulsively, she hooked a worm to the hook and then cast the fishing rod into the water. She sat there on a rock by the creek for hours as she fished, enjoying the warm sunshine on her skin. When she caught a trout, she shouted for joy. Father, would you buy me a fishing pole? Araminta asked her father later that day. Well, that's easy enough, but I don't understand, the king said. How could a fishing pole possibly make you happy? Araminta simply smiled. You don't have to understand, she said. So now it's time for us to take a moment and think about what would be the best theme of the story. What could our character have learned and what could we learn? Different things make different people happy. Or fishing is more relaxing than horseback riding. Well, I know here that Araminta, she struggled to find happiness, found this fishing pole, and then discovered that it was something that made her happy. We know that themes and stories should be something that can apply to our own lives. It could be something that we could learn. It is not going to be something that is specific to the story. I know that this story is specifically mentioning fishing, but if I'm somebody who's not a fisher, maybe this wouldn't apply to me. Something that could apply to me is that different things make different people happy. For example, in our story, Araminta was made happy by her fishing rod, but maybe for me, I might discover that something else similar to her might make me feel happy. So I'm going to choose different things make different people happy. Let's look at our solution. It says, think about the events in the story and make an inference. What makes the king happy, for example, that fancy palace, isn't necessarily what makes Princess Araminta happy. Apply to the wider world to make a theme. Different things make different people happy. This this point right here is the most important point to remember. It has to be something that applies to the wider world, not just the characters in the story. Remember, as you are working, if you're confused, click learn with an example to review the notes.